We're here with uh, head coach Dave Preston. Coach, um, hard fought viable against a quality opponent, NCAA tournament pedigree. Um, let's open up with your thoughts on tonight's match. Uh, I thought we got a lot out of what we designed today to be for. Um, obviously didn't get the win. Sometimes you can win a stat sheet, but you don't win the match. You don't win the score sheet. And uh, tonight that was kind of one of them. So uh, I thought we did a lot of things pretty well. Um, we weren't good in high ball today, um, which is a little bit odd because we've been pretty good in high ball in training and tonight it wasn't the case. But volleyball is a game where you, you got to be good at the right times. And uh, in the first set, we didn't close it out. And the second set, we did, or sorry, second set, we didn't close it out. And uh, the third set, we did, right? So you close that second set out and you're up 2 1. And the third, fourth set's a very different story. So, um, but yeah, you, you got to be good at the right times. And uh, tonight, we weren't. That usually comes with our serving and passing down a stretch. Second set, we missed two passes and one serve after 20. And you can't do that against a team like Ohio State. So, I thought we created the environment that we wanted to for our student athletes to be uh, to be exposed to that. I thought our guys handled the 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 moments pretty well. Um, so we talked about energy, effort, and execution, and I think we got uh, sixty six percent of that tonight. We just didn't execute down the stretch. Obviously, not the result you guys are looking for or this. Um, how did your team uh, take this experience and kind of build on this going into this conference play? I don't know if I can answer that question now. I can probably tell you Monday and next week when we get to, uh, you know, look at the tape and, and go at it. I think right now they're probably, uh, uh, you know, your first match of the year, you put that many people, what, 1,200 people in the gym tonight or close to it. And, um, you know, th they're still trying to find themselves. And then you create that environment with them. That was probably a lot for them. Um, so I think overnight they'll probably reflect on it. Um, so I don't know if I can answer that question fully, but if I had to guess, I think as a student athlete, um, other than a loss, they're okay with the environment that we created and, and how they handled it. Never, it not, not in my 20, 30 plus years of coaching, um, uh, we had the butterflies like everybody else did tonight. And I know Coach Birch would probably say the same thing. So I think when it gets commonplace, it's time to turn a page. Uh, but yeah, tonight was, tonight, I, I thought tonight as a student athlete, as a, as a coach of student athletes, I thought tonight was amazing. Other, obviously, other than the result and the, and the loss. You talked about the second set and not closing it out. That's typically been unusual for you. Usually your teams, when they get the chance, tend to do those things. Is that something that you just have to work on? Is that something that comes naturally? Is that no? It's definitely not natural. Um, it's definitely something we have to work on. And it's definitely something we'll get better at. Um, and it, but I just don't think we're seasoned enough right now as a some as players and and definitely as a group to be able to trust that training level that you ju we just have to do what we need to do, especially in that moment. So. We'll definitely get better at it, but putting ourselves in those positions is exactly why we want to bring teams like Ohio State in there and, and get us into that spot and then learn how to manage it and, and how to win it. So lots of teams would like to play at that level. Very few know how to win at that level, and that's something that you have to really learn. Last thing for me, when I talked to you the other day, you said you hope to be exposed in a match like this. Mm -hmm. uh, were you? Yeah, absolutely. I thought uh, their serving pressure did – you know, you saw it in the fourth set where they just eroded our reception, right? And then <clears throat> when they started to put the pressure on it, our guys got a little bit tight and the ball started to get too close to the net. We couldn't play, right? So at that situation, we we're trying to manage it a little bit, keep the ball off the net and, and play a little bit of what we call two ball offense. And, and, and uh, it, that was the exposure that happened in the fourth set. And we did it after, what it was, 16-6 uh, or something like that, or we were down by 10 early. And from that point on, we did it, but we didn't do it to get into that point. So that's what really exposed us, in, in my opinion. I'll know better after I crush the film, which will be in about two hours. <laughs> hey, Michael.
kind of look at the second set versus the third set. Like, the team did well in terms of closing out the third set. Yeah. Yeah, it takes a lot to get to that point, Michael. Like to get to twenty-two to get, uh, tied, right? And and we got to put that work in. And then it's one or two plays down the stretch. And like I say, in the second in the second set, we missed two passes and one serve. Those are the three. That's a three-point swing right there that we lost by two, right? We make two of those plays out of the three, and we probably win that second set, right? But we didn't, and we talked about it. And then in the third set, we got better with it. And then in the fourth set, again, it just eroded. We ran into a little bit of trouble too. Robbie split his chin. Clearly that wasn't a distraction that you you learn to handle. We don't injure our players in training, so they learn how to handle that. That That's definitely not something, but we will need to manage that moving forward. And I thought Jay came in and did a decent job, but he hasn't hit his rhythm yet with us. And uh, and Maxime Gratton um, was on a, uh, for lack of a better term, a pitch count tonight. Um, and so after the, I guess, third set, we had to make that call too. So some changes were kind of forced on us to sit in Ohio State. Ohio State put us in that position. But, um, yeah, it, it's uh, the fourth set kind of got away from us a little bit early. And then, you know, in addition to kind of this game, obviously the game against the Sherbrooke, the Sherbrooke Montreal yeah. earlier. Pitches, looking back at that, like, how do you feel with, like, what the team kind of <laughs> Uh, it it should have, could have, would at that stage, but there's no way that that those results happened in Montreal if we played at the level we did tonight. Like we were very, we were much, much better tonight from a lot of areas. Um, and you know what? We like to play at home too, so you, you can't discount that. Um, but yeah, in the for, as a coach, the lessons that we learned in Montreal, we got better with. The lessons that we're going to learn from Ohio State we're going to get better with. So as long as we continue to move forward, that's really all I can ask of our student athletes. So as I say, I think we got a lot of what we brought Ohio State in for here. We got a great crowd. We got a great environment. It was a great match. We just didn't execute for about four or five points down the stretch in two sets. And that cost us in the fourth. And the state last week. Yep. Our outside hitting efficiency was really poor when we went to Montreal, and it was much better tonight. So we hit 264 as a team. Some of the carryovers were good. Our middles were good in Montreal. Our middles were good again tonight. I think after the third set, our middles were hitting almost 700 as a group. Uh, so, you know, we're okay with that. Um, but, you know, we want to be better in, in a couple areas. And, it, it you know, it, it takes some time for us. But the uh, good thing is, last I checked, we're still in October. So we're okay. Okay, awesome. Thank you. We're here with uh, fourth year libero uh, Ben Kirkhoff. Um, ben, obviously, a really strong team on the other side tonight. Uh, lots of NCAA experience over there. Um, but you guys held with them through those first three sets. Um, how do you think that the team responded to um, I think we faced a really strong opponent. There's a lot of serving pressure, a lot of talented athletes over there. And I think it was a bit of a punch in the gut starting off. They came out hard, and then we had to respond. Um, we had very close to closing out those first two sets, right on the bubble there, and they made some great plays down the stretch, and it comes down to passing and serving down the stretch, as Coach always says. Um, I think we responded well in that third set, battling, and then eventually closing it out down the stretch like we tried to in those first two. And then, you know, Ben, Michael from uh, Western 49 Sports, um, you mentioned kind of the, the close the closing out sets part of that second set there in terms yep. of, here's the terms of whether Yeah, for sure. Uh, practice all the time. We play games starting at 18, 18, 20, 20. We get in those kind of late game situations and we battle with each other and work on making those moves down the stretch to close out games. Like we said, making those blocks, making those serves, making those passes. And really it comes down to very thin margins down the stretch and taking care of those little details is what makes the difference. And Ohio did a better job tonight and they came out on top because of it. Yep. Yeah, I think uh, our team wanted to identify with just being a 
very tough team to beat, communicating well and being a scrappy team. And I don't know if we really showed that in Montreal to the extent we did tonight. I think it's something we want to keep building on and working together to compete together. Um, we missed a couple of players in Montreal. Um, Sam over there, he wasn't there. And we had another player gone with the national team. So having them back tonight helps as well. But honestly, as we continue to grow and learn to battle together and our connections grow together, I think we're going to be in a very good spot down the road. The, when you guys played them last in Toronto, I think it was, right? Yep. Did you get to play much in those games? Uh, that would have been my first year. So I don't think I played in the Ohio game. I played a little bit in the Lewis one. Okay. But so, you, so when you get on the floor, I mean, you hear about NCAA games. Yeah. Big NCAA games. Is it what you expect when you get on there? Yeah, for sure. I imagine, I remember myself in the crowd in 2015 and a little high school kid watching here. Yeah, that game go out in this crazy environment and kind of hit me as I was standing in line for the national anthem. It was like back then I said to myself, hey, I want to play in that game. And here I was getting my opportunity right. to play in it. Yeah. It, was that part of what brought you to the national that experience? Yeah, that was definitely a, a big factor. And that one, as well as some of the Trinity Western games and then hosting nationals, um, I don't remember what year that was, but when we hosted and I was watching all those games when Mac lost to Trinity in the semifinal, I think, um, I was here for all those and that's when I kind of fell in love with the school and the environment and sure. the fans and really want to be here, yeah. Because when you look around the stands today, there's tons of kids who are wearing club <laughs> yeah. sweatshirts and stuff. That has to, you have to be aware of that, that yeah. that kid that you were is now what you're doing to bring in the next group. Probably. Yeah, absolutely. There's tons of club kids there and uh, a club key my help coach was there too, all 12 of the athletes there and they all came up to me after and thought it was an amazing match and it's pretty cool seeing it and inspiring the next generation for sure. So how much pressure then is there on you guys when you're on the floor knowing that what you're doing right now is possibly <laughs> selling the game to whether win or just play really well? That's got to be part of what you're doing. There. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it definitely does influence it, but I feel like you can't focus on that. That's kind of an outcome of how we play and the work we put in and just staying focused on the little details that we need to take care of and all the rest of it kind of takes care of itself. If you find out you're focusing on the crowd or anything like that, you get a little bit distracted and you don't play as well as you could for sure. How did they, I can't remember, did they win that time you were here when you were high Yeah, we did. Against Ohio State? Yeah. Yeah, that was an awesome game. Good. Thanks, Zach. All right. Thank you. All right, we're here with fourth year outside hitter Sam Cooper. Sam, uh, team came under the gates firing tonight. You guys played the close uh, for those first three sets. Um, so give your uh, initial thoughts on tonight's match. Yeah, we're... Uh... We're not exactly a, a new squad in terms of uh, our, our playing time together um, because this is very similar to, to what we had last year. Um, but I think on the restart, um, there's, some, there's some moving pieces right now that we need to, to iron out. And I think that showed uh, tonight. And I think Ohio um, had those details down a little bit more, uh, I think, than we did. Uh, yeah, that that being said, I think uh, I think I think we we learned a lot and uh, we have a lot to to move forward. So, um, as Coach Preston mentioned, um, you, your team had a few guys on limited minutes tonight. Um, what does it do for the team chemistry to get some of the other guys in the rotation in big moments like this? Yeah, it, I think that's something we do really well. Actually, I think uh, one of our strengths is definitely our. Uh, our team, our team chemistry, and also our depth. Uh, the fact that you know guys can step up and are very interchangeable um, in in those lineups uh, that they they flow very uh, seamlessly together. Uh, I think that's honestly what uh, helped us stay in it tonight was um, was our ability to to come together again and uh, and want to fight and and show the uh, the pride that we have to. To, to wear the logo and, and to, to play in those matches. And so, yeah. we, were just, we were hearing what we were talking about, Ben. I know when you were in high school, you used to come here to matches to watch. Were you here when Ohio State was here last time or the time before? Yeah, for sure. No, I was, I was around for all those uh, matches that, that he discussed uh, as well. And yeah, I had the, the, same, uh, the same sensations and the same uh, in, inspiration from, from those matches. Um, as as he did, and yeah, it's 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 my hope that that's you know that's what happened tonight. Um, tough that that we lost, I guess, and uh, and that uh, they didn't uh, a couple of years back. But uh, you know that happens. I think it was still a good match, and 
and like I said, the the pride that we showed uh, speaks volumes. So, what was that part of the reason that you chose that? Part of the reason was that in the decision making? It, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, being being that close to uh, to a school like this and an environment like like Burge Gym, um, uh, yeah, everyone everyone that uh, comes here that they kind of understand that there's a there's a special feeling about uh, what what our team means and what we've got going on here, and uh, and also specifically that gym and, and uh, also the support the the crowds that that come out to to watch us um, is well, really impactful. What is it like? Because not not every game do you have this many people in the, in the gym when you come out and you have that. What's the what's the difference? What's the feeling when you get out there and you can play in a crowd like that? Yeah, uh, I think for for everyone, it's it's excitement. Um, I mean, we've been preparing for this this match for a while. It's it's been on the schedule and uh, and yeah, all week. I think it's been building up and uh, knowing that there's going to be lots of fans out there. Um, yeah, boosts boosts our level of play and our our wants to to win. Um, and so it's it's just it's it's electric. It's it's a great environment to to be in. And I think that's that's what the team uh, feels. Lastly, uh, is this for intimidation? Are you throwing <laughs> this out to scare the other guys? This is this is an early uh, November feel um, yeah, <laughs> that I'm rocking here. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to read the room to be honest. So, <laughs> <laughs> how's the room yeah. Well, you know, positive so far, but uh, I have my suspicions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not Michael. I'm just a reporter for the website. Yeah, because like I said, you said you mentioned kind of off the top there in terms of the the environment. Yeah, um, as Ben mentioned, we've had a we've ha had a couple guys, including myself, um, out out of the gym for a little while, um, and so to have those guys coming back and um, uh, that caused a little bit of uh, misconnection with uh, with with hitter setter uh, stuff. Um, so I think there's some there's some work to do there. Um, and then also uh, details like our high ball management, um, uh, our ability to uh, be a, be a physical team at the net when we're uh, out of system and when we're when we're struggling, um, and to to put that ball on to sort of get us back in the game, um, because we have those skills. Um, but when that when that breaks down, the the actual uh, setting components. Um, then we then we limit ourselves and we limit our, our defense as well, which is one of our strengths. So. And then in terms of you know, you referenced the new ball, the the loss that kind of caught you, a lot of players are back from last year. I mean, like how how much or how does that kind of really help in terms of like um, really help the really kind of tough Yeah, I mean even personally that's been uh that's been huge for me to uh to feel like you sort of have a uh a family away from your your own family that you have these guys that you've uh you've been working hard with for a really long time um to to be in that environment um yeah it, it means that your your play and uh and your relationships with each other uh builds your ability to to be on the court um because you have those relationships outside of the court as well. Um, so, you know, you're, you're playing for each other and, uh, and that makes uh, everything go a lot more smoothly, I think. Yeah, uh, I would say it's uh, sort of a uh, a distant version of, of the excitement that we experienced uh, uh, for for today uh, for this week, um, but that will extend over our season and that will uh, that will build as we as we get closer to that. Um, and I know for for a lot of us, this is uh, yeah, like we we watched those games when they were here, and so for us to have that opportunity to. Yeah, host host that tournament in in this gym uh, means a great deal to a lot of people on this team, 
Um, and so, yeah, I- excitement and, and hunger for, for that, for that win, that championship win is, uh, that's what will fuel our season. I think. Thanks, Sam. Thank awesome. You. No problem, guys. Thank you.